guys! So today I'm just going to be doing a quick, quick haul on just some recent makeup items that I purchased over the past um, couple weeks. Only five items, so not that much. Uh, hopefully this video will go pretty quickly, um, but that's usually never the case. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Team Great Britain. Um, check out this amazing scarf. My friend Catherine just came back from a trip in Europe and she brought me back this scarf for my birthday and I'm in love with it. Um, my mother is British so that's why I can root partially for Team Great Britain and partially for half Team Canada because I am, I guess technically, half British. It's in my blood. Um, so anyways, I just love the scarf. And you can, if you're interested in these, you can find them online. Um, just Google like Great Britain Olympic scarf um, in case you want them. Uh, anyways, now that I've pimped out Great Britain. Uh, the first three items were nail polishes. I told myself I was not going to buy any more nail polish because my nail polish rack is full. So now I am back to putting my nail polish on a shelf because I have completely filled up a 60 bottle nail polish rack. So that's, yeah, that's a whole other problem in itself. Um, the first nail polish I got a few weeks ago was Penny Talk. I picked this up right away because um, it was impossible to find for a really long time. This is just a rose gold color. I'm not as thrilled as I thought I would be with it. Um, it's very metallic-y and I'm not really that much of a fan of metallic nail polishes. Um, I find they chip really easily. The color is very, very beautiful, um, but once it does chip I find it just kind of starts to look not that good. Um, and the next two shoppers was having buy one nail polish, get one free, so I picked up two more SD nail polishes. The first one is a pretty much a major regret. Um, it's Sugar Daddy, and it looks like this. Now it's kind of going between this one and ballet slippers, and I don't even really know why I bought it. I thought it would look pretty similar to in the bottle, but it's so sheer. It almost looks like there's nothing on my nail palette on my nails. I guess it is good for days when you don't really want to look like you're wearing much of a color, but on those days I tend to wear something like turquoise and Caicos. I mean, definitely not turquoise and Caicos. Um, topless and barefoot is what I meant. When I want to wear, like, when I want it to just have a really neutral nail, I'll wear topless and barefoot. Um, so this, I'm kind of pretty disappointed. I did three coats and it really just added some shine. Um, I guess again, like, it, I guess it's good to have if I have to go somewhere where I can't really wear nail polish which will never happen but I guess I look at it this way it's free and the disappointing part was a lot of the nail polishes were already gone so it's kind of slim pickings. The next one I got though I'm absolutely in love with it is Mesmerized and it's this blue color. I absolutely love this. I think it's a really great color, a really unique blue um, so I am glad that I got this one and I've worn this a couple times already. The next product is what I'm wearing on my lips now and this just came to Canada after forever, it seems. It's the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. And this is in Love Struck. And on our advertisements, this is the one that Emma Stone is actually wearing um, in the advertisements. So it's on my lips now. I will swatch it for you. And it looks just like that. And in the tube, it looks just like this. I love these. Um, they were $11.99. I only got the one. Uh, but I do think I'll wear it a lot. It's very nourishing, hydrating, um, looks really easy to apply, and it lasts quite a while. I'm actually really impressed with the staying power. Um, definitely, I don't know if it claims to last a certain amount of time, um, but I'd say it lasts maybe three to four hours without having to reapply. I find it will stay on the outer perimeter, but it definitely starts to fade off um, if you're eating definitely like around the middle of the lips. but. The color is absolutely beautiful, so I definitely recommend these, not drying at all. And the last product I picked up a couple days ago, and it's from the MAC Style Secret Collection, and honestly, I have not purchased anything from MAC in ages, and I didn't even think I would buy this, and then I watched Beauty Zine's video, um, her Style Seeker video, and her eye makeup was phenomenal, and I was going out for my birthday that weekend, and I was like, this eyeshadow look is amazing, I really want to try it. Um, so I went to MAC just to look at the palette, and the girl that was working there was amazing. She was like, you know what, why don't you sit down and I'll put it on your eyes so you can see how you like it. So I ended up getting a free little makeover, um, and it, I really, really liked how it looked. And I was really surprised because these are colors I would never really put on my eyes. Um, 
So the palette is in, I don't even want to say the name because I know I'm not going to be able to say it. It is Marche O Puce. It's French. Um, I will link it or annotate it or write it somewhere here so you can see. But these are the colors. So they're, it's a really nice orange gold and then like a reddish brown. And immediately when I saw these I thought this looks like Amber Lights and Swiss Chocolate, which I have both of these colors. But I really like that they were just in two, um, it's a really nice little easy kit, um, because a lot of the times I am getting ready somewhere that is not my ho my actual home. So I'm at my parent like this weekend I was at my parents' house, um, getting ready, so I had to bring this along with me kind of thing, so I do like things that are more convenient, but, um... This color, like this color, I would never ever in my life ever wear all over my lid. I have a lot of lid sp space. I have very large eyelids. So I really don't like putting so much of a, such um, a saturated color on my lids. I will often do a very nude color and then kind of go more bold in the outer corner. And something like this I would maybe put on the middle of the eyelid. But I actually went for this all over the lid with this in the crease and it looked amazing. And I brought this on the underneath on the lower lash line. It looked great. So I did grab my Amber Lights and my Swiss Chocolate eyeshadow just so I could um, show you a comparison because I guess if they, they are quite similar you may not want to go out and purchase the other one. Um, so I did find a fair difference with the orange color. Um, I don't know how this is going to translate on camera um, but I'll try to do a pretty heavy swatch. So this here is the first color in the palette, and um, the, the brown is a matte, so I do like the fact that this one kind of has that frost um, shimmer in it. It is pretty orange, it's a nice orange gold, um, and I find personally Amber Lights is a little bit more of a yellow gold, so I'm going to put that beside. To me the difference is pretty significant, um, definitely... Amber Lights may be more wearable on some people. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the difference. So that is the one from the Style Seeker. And then the one beside it is the Amber Lights. So the Amber Lights is more of a true gold compared to this one, which does have quite a bit of orange. Um, I have Hazel Eyes, and this actually turned my eyes green, which I loved. Um, so And this would definitely also be a color that would look great on blue eyes. I do think it would actually be a universally flattering color, but I think it depends on your skin tone as well. Um, because this does have a lot of orange in it, on someone with very pale skin, I think it might not look that great. Um, but having a little bit of a tan or more of a darker skin tone, it's a great color. So then I'll swatch the second color in the palette for you. Um, i running out of room here. This to me is just a reddish um, brown color, and they're both matte. Swiss Chocolate and um, the one in the Style Seeker palette are both matte browns. And to me, they actually may even be the same color. They are absolutely identical. Um, the one from Style Seeker may have a little bit more um, of a red tone to it in the payoff. Um, in the the brown from the Style Seeker is a lot better than the one of Swiss Chocolate. So the first one is the Style Seeker and the second one is Swiss Chocolate. I had to dip my finger in Swiss Chocolate and press a lot harder to get the same color payoff. But as you can see, the color is pretty much identical. So I don't know if that's going to help you if you're interested in the palette, whether you'll pick it up or not. Like I said, I do like it for the convenience. And I do like the orange shadow because to me this is the only orange shadow that... I think is wearable as a lid color that I've seen um, because it does have that nice gold copper tone to it as well. So this is the palette um, and I'm absolutely loving it. These colors you can also definitely tone down to make a daytime look if you were to just put this in the crease and maybe just put this a little bit in the outer corner or even just on the lower lash line. You can definitely create a lot of looks with this. So I'm loving this. I think it's going to be great for fall as well. That's all I had to show you. So hopefully this video wasn't too long, but I think it's still probably over 10 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll say bye with my swatchy fingers, and I'll see you in my next video.